hello hello welcome back to another video and if you're new welcome so today I am going to try and see how these diamond tips work I purchased them from Timu not too long ago and I just had a viewer comment on she just purchased them and I thought you know this might be a good idea to just kind of try and see what all they can do so I'm just gonna do it a couple different ways um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the lazy girl method by Femi Beauty if I remember right um, I don't want to yeah I hope that's right so I'm gonna do it that way on two different tips and then I'm gonna go on top of the um, tips just to see I want to see how that design works and if it stays put or if you can even see it so I'm gonna be using just a few different things um, polish wise and whatnot so anyways without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get started all right so I'm gonna be using my practice hand Jessica I've gone ahead and I've put tips on her um, on these two right here what I've done is I, um, so these tips are from Timu as well. This is Jessica's little size chart. And what I've done is gone ahead and found the tips that she wears, okay? And because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna adhere anything to my silicone hand. So what I've done is I've gone ahead, picked out the right size, turned it around, and then inserted it like such. That way, it looks like I have a couple of nails. I have some tips to work with, or nails to work with. And then these two are her size, and these are the diamond tips mm, that I got off of Timu, and they are full coverage tips. And um, like I said, I haven't done anything with these yet, so I'm kind of curious to see um, how they work. I wanna see what they look like as far as if we do the lazy girl method and if you still get that diamond effect and then we're just gonna paint these two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use, um, let's see here, I'm gonna use a base coat, okay? I have not, these are not prepped. They're not scuffed, primed, or anything like that. They're not really, they're not going on anybody, just Jessica. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill these with a little bit of base gel. And those are barely staying on my little sticky tabs. I might have to redo that. Um, we shall see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, actually these will all get cured together. I'm gonna go ahead and do, on the top of these, and these two will get it on top I'm just gonna wipe them down with some rubbing alcohol. You can't really scuff them. I mean, you can up towards the cuticle. I'll take that out. Up towards the cuticle, you can. You can totally scuff that up and do whatever you want with it. But the rest of this, if you are gonna try and file it, it's not gonna work. You're gonna lose that design that you have with the diamonds. So, I am just gonna wipe these down as best as I can, okay. And then we're gonna top coat, well, I shouldn't say top coat, but we're gonna put a base coat on these ones. And I'm just putting just a small amount. Oh, I forgot to mention. I um, am, so these two are gonna get a builder gel on top before their polish. Um, I haven't tried these with anything, so I would like to think acrylic would work, but we're just going to do a builder gel today. Okay. And then these are going to get a base coat. And when I use my practice hand, especially if I'm taping like I am today, I don't normally do the thumb. It's just kind of a pain. <laughs> I know that sounds awful. It's so much easier on an actual person. 
So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cure the, blah, 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 cure the tips. Okay. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be right back. All right. So everything is cured. I am really not too sure about these on the stand. It's not a flat surface, of course. It's just those little diamond designs. So I'm going to move this because I feel like that's a little bit of a distraction. Um, all right. So these two here, like I said, they're going to get the builder gel. And I am trying to make this to where you can see. Um, I'm going to be using Model 1's uh, builder nail gel. And it's clear. I have a few clients that I use this on, and I absolutely love it. So we are going to just apply that. Then these, I am going to put, I'm going to put gel polish in those before I cure them and before I put any of the uh, poly gel on. So this is one of Born Pretty's, I love this blue, uh, it's a jelly. Hold on, I will show you the bottle. just for 10 seconds really quick so it doesn't all pool to the middle. Um, okay, yeah, warm pretty. And then this is JN43. And it's just, it's so pretty. So I'll probably do two coats of that. And then along with that, I'm going to use, this is Madam Glam's. I wanted to see what it looked like with glitter. I'm gonna do Under the Stars. And it's just another gorgeous color. So these same colors I will put on these two after everything is cured. Ooh, these are not on there at all. Mm. Okay, just trying to do a thin coat. All right. I'm gonna put this in the lamp. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure those. Actually, I'm just gonna do a 10 second on that one real quick, or those two, I should say. And then this is kind of starting to run a little bit. So I need to just get these all cured. And just get the excess off. Okay, I'm trying to keep my shape. All right, so I'm just going to cure all of these at the same time. And then I'll be right back. Okay, so these are cured and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to do a second coat because I really, I want that blue to just really show up. Okay, 
The Builder Gel, I would normally do another coat, but I am going to not do that because just for the sake of uh, the Builder Gel to have enough when I, you know, have to do the other girls. <laughs> Jessica's not going anywhere. It's not going to go anywhere, so she's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to do one more coat on this one. I put the other one in for 10 seconds just to kind of freeze freeze it so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to cure these both now for 60 seconds. All right, everything's cured. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of the, um, this is McCart's Nail Extension Gel. This is the Poly Gel. The Slip Solution, I'm just going to be using isopropyl alcohol. It's 99%. Um, I purchased this one off of Amazon. Uh, you should be able to get it just about anywhere. I know when I was looking for it, I couldn't find it. So, except for on Amazon. So anyways, I am just gonna put a little bit in here. Now these are not dual forms. These are full coverage tips and they are, they go on, they stay on. Okay, and I'm hoping this will work on this stand because it is, yeah. So I'm gonna try and get it to go all the way up to all the way up the sides. You don't want to skimp on any of that. And you want it to be a little thinner up towards the cuticle, but you still want enough on there to apply it to the tip, or the nail, I should say. Now these have, on the inside of them, there's a little bit of a, like a groove where those diamonds design is, the diamond design, not diamonds. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cure that. All right, so I am probably not doing this right, so I'm just gonna admit that right now. So I'm gonna put just a little bit more on here, just up towards the cuticle, because I wanna put it on the nail. And I didn't want it sticky. Too awful sticky. Okay. And then I also, like I said, it's not, these aren't going anywhere, but I wanted some structure. Okay. And I want to say that that's gonna go on just fine. So we've got a base coat on that nail right now. So when we're doing this, uh-oh, which one do I have? This might be the wrong size. Nope. Okay, so you wanna push it on there, like such. And then just wipe off any excess poly gel that's coming out.
Okay. And then we're just going to do a quick cure on that one just to kind of freeze it. All right, I'm going to do the same with this one. Yep. Oh my gosh, these are not staying on the stands very well. Okay, so I'm just going to put just a smidge on there. I'm going to do the same thing. Try and get it up to the sides, and then when you get to the cuticle, you want it to be thin. I've just kind of flooded that with alcohol, but I want this to smooth out. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna get this where I want it, and then I'm gonna cure it, and then I'll put just a tad bit more so that I can adhere it to the nail. Now with this method, you don't have to necessarily file anything. Normally you would file on top just to scuff it up a little bit before you put a gel polish, but like I said, in this case, you can't, you can't do that because you'll take away the diamond design. Well, I mean, that's what I think. I don't, maybe somebody will prove me wrong on that, which I'm sure somebody will. So anyways, <laughs> it's whatever works for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the lamp and I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds and then we're going to come back and we're going to put this on the tip. Okay, so that's just got a little added texture, or not texture, but strength, good grief, structure. <laughs> just making it a little stronger. And then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to use another little thing of poly gel and hopefully not lose my tip on this okay hold on just a second here I have goo everywhere okay So I just want to make sure I've got everything covered and make sure that that cuticle is thin. You don't want it all big and bulky. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this one on. Why do I have a bad feeling this is the wrong size? Okay, so I've got that one on there, and now I'm just going to, I'm going to just do a quick little flash cure. After I get my lid on, I don't end up curing this as well. Okay. All right, so these two are cured, and then we're going to come back. I'm going to, these have the builder gel on them, and I'm just going to see what they look like um, with the polish. And then we'll wipe them all off and put a top coat. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to lose this design with the glitter. Okay, I'm trying to do it thin. So the Builder Gel does not fill in those grooves. So there's texture. There's going to be texture on all of these. And it's just something that you'll have to play with to see how it works. I want to do acrylic, and maybe I'll do that. I'll do that another time. Okay, right now I'm just trying to get the excess off because I don't, I feel like I'm losing that design because I am. Clean that up a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to come back in with, let's see here, the Born Pretty Blue. So this one is Under the Stars. This is Madam Glam's. This is uh, Born Pretty JN43. I think the texture makes them look, I like it. Not everybody likes that, but this is just kind of for design purposes only. Oh, look at that blue. I don't know, it's, um, I'm losing the shape. Or the design. So I'm just going to do one coat of each of these polishes on these tips, just because I feel like it's just getting taken away with the little nooks and crannies. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cure these for 60 seconds. Um, Madam Glam's only have to cure for 30, but this one is 60, so it's gonna go for a full 60. It's not gonna hurt anything. Okay. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wipe these down. And these are the ones that have the Lazy Girl method. You can still see the texture and everything. These don't need to be wiped down. They're just gel polish, but anyways, I lost the design on those. And I'm gonna have to play around with them to see how, I'm assuming that the acrylic would just fill it in but not necessarily take away the design, I hope. So that will be a whole nother experiment. So I'm gonna use my Born Pretty top coat, new favorite top coat. And like I said, you can't file these, right? So I just went ahead and wiped them down with alcohol. And I'm not even for sure if this is, I mean, the right way to use these tips. They're just something fun, and I saw them, and I thought, man, I could do a bunch of different stuff with them. And these poor little guys here, they've lost, yeah, they almost, they're just textured now. not what I was anticipating.
but you know what? I think what I'll do is I'm going to put her in the lamp. I'm going to get her curing, and then I'm going to take, I'm just, just for kicks and giggles, we're going to try this real quick. I want to see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to use, I'm going to do an acrylic one. Give me a second to get this set up. All right, so this is just one of the larger tips. I'm just going to check something out here because that would be so much better to be able to keep the design. Okay, so I went ahead and I scuffed it up just a little bit. It's not going on anybody, but I'm just kind of seeing how this is going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do a two bead method. possibly more. I want to get that texture covered so that when you file you don't remove any of it. Okay, so this is Enel Couture's Crystal Clear Powder. And the monomer is Young Nails, just their regular monomer. I like using this in the summertime because it doesn't set up too fast. Enel Coutures I use in the wintertime when it's a little cooler. Okay. And what I'll do with this is just file it and put a top coat on and see if we can see the design. Okay, this is going to be a few. Okay, there is one high spot on here that is just refusing to get covered. Okay, so I'm going to just set this down for a second and let that set up. And then we'll check on Jessica. I feel like this is probably something I should have already done. <laughs> but I wanted to see how it worked with the poly gel and everything. So anyways, this yeah, these have the texture. They have the lazy girl method. These have the texture, just gel on top. I mean, if you want to do it that way, I mean, it, yeah, you could make them look like they've got, um, I don't know, like something for Halloween. Can't even find my words on that one. Okay, so this is working on it. So it's got a couple high spots still. and it is not quite ready. So I'm gonna give that just a few. Okay. So you wanna you want to hear that tap, and then you know it's set up. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, I'm just gonna file this. Okay, I'm 
gonna just go over the top. Because what I wanna do is put a thin layer of a top coat, no white top coat on there. And I wanna see if it gives us that diamond design that we're looking for. Okay. I'm just using the 180 side of my file here. I put quite a bit of acrylic on there, hoping not to take away from anything, but getting everything filled in. just going to wipe that off with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. I'm just really hoping this turns out because uh, those tips are so cool. All right, and then we're going to use, this is our Born Pretty Top Coat. It's going to cure for 60 seconds. If you're still with me, thank you. So I'm almost thinking, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the lamp. I'm gonna see how that looks. I'm gonna give that 60 seconds. And then we're gonna try something else because I have an idea. Actually, let's just do it for 30. How about 18? I wanna see something here. Okay, so this is another, okay, this is just chrome. And I don't remember where I got this, but there we go. I apologize. I wasn't planning on doing the acrylic, um, but here we are. Okay. And I'm hoping this works. So this should be, oh no. Okay. I don't think that's going to work. It doesn't have any. Well, maybe that's not a bad thing. Okay. Okay, and then we will do, okay, so I have a separate top coat that I use when I use glitter and everything. And this one's got the glitter and the powder and all that kind of stuff, the chrome powder, I should say. So we're just gonna top coat that really quick. I don't wanna contaminate the other top coat that I use all the time because not everybody wants the chrome or glitter. Okay, so I hope that is showing up. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I'm gonna do that for 60 seconds. Okay, and there it is. It's all cured and everything. 
You can still see the design underneath. You can't feel it, but you can see it. So there's that. <laughs> I may have to just redo this and do a whole complete um, acrylic set to see how that works. Anyways, if you're still with me, thank you. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back again shortly with another one. Cheers.